I'm Natalia Hughes. I'm a Brisbane-based artist. I recently undertook an open studio project with Quick Omar, and I have around seven works in the collection. This is my exhibition, Maybe I Was Painting the Woman in Me. The exhibition is the culmination of about three years of work, and it's across both galleries here at Milani. The main body of work that the exhibition showcases are works based on the woman paintings of Willem de Kooning. In particular, one show he had in the 1950s where he presented a series of paintings and a few works on paper. Woman one to six, and then a series of works based on two female figures. The reason I started making this work was because I had a very difficult relationship to the series in particular and it's part of a broader series of works where I've been taking on kind of canonical modernist paintings and figuring out if I can re-articulate them and bring in things from um, sources that are foreign to them. So um, when de Kooning made these paintings he named them Woman 1 to Woman 6, not particular women. I've heard, um, sorry, read writing about them where they're talked about as capturing some kind of essence of woman but mostly they're just ca and talked about as like an experimental painting practice. Um, that contributes something to this sort of investigation of form and painting and that it's of no consequence that it's women who are in the paintings and I really find that problematic and I wanted to respond to that in particular. And then in the other room there's a series of abstractions that relate to that work in the form of them um, being engaged with the idea of a gesture um, but they're kind of distinct and I can show you what those look like too. The process of making them has been literally starting with de Kooning's woman paintings in Photoshop and isolating particular areas according to colour or other sort of delineations of form. And then in Photoshop I make layers of pattern to kind of redeploy this different way of articulating the bodies in the paintings. So the sources that they come from are main, mainly 1950s textile or my own patterns that are based on 1950s textiles, mainly because I wanted to bring that sort of domestic decor pattern decorative element to the paintings. I know de Kooning probably wouldn't love that, um, precisely why I felt like I needed to do it. And it sort of extends something that I've done more broadly with decorative form in my painting for a long time. This painting is woman one, and then in brackets, me from here. Um, as it sounds, it's based on de Kooning's Woman One. Um, the extra titling in all of the works refers to women um, in my life or sort of accounts of women that are real women in the world. Um, and a lot of them are difficult women. Difficult in the sense of them being forceful personalities. Uh, one is named after my nana, another is named after a colleague's mother. Um, because I felt like you couldn't kind of make a critique about de Kooning's naming practice that was about the female form in general or women in general without then countering it with something. So me from here is sort of a self-portrait of sorts. Um, it's the first painting that I started in the series, like de Kooning's Woman One, it took a couple of years to paint. Um, I revisited it quite a few times. One thing I wanted to do with the work, as well as making them paintings, and um, as well as drawing attention to this sort of other domestic, uh, decorative, sort of feminine cultural thing that was happening with the textile designs being incorporated, was also somehow work the paintings into decor. So I've made these sort of frame, like frame in commas, um, elements that the paintings sit on or within this one, which is Woman 4. Eileen from Kings Point, which is based on my, my nana, has two sides to it. So she's kind of recumbent, she's, try, she's kind of lying back, she's comfortable. Um, on this side you get the sort of image-based version and then if you come around to the back of the painting um, there are sculptural elements. So it's got this kind of a 1950s brass stand that is the sort of sleek 1950s decor end of things but it also has these difficult kind of droopy, saggy, breast-like forms. It suggests that there's something either dragging the painting down or supporting it from the back um, with this textile work that's kind of the second painting to the painting. This one is a freestanding stand that I was thinking about department store exhibitions of paintings at that time and wanting to kind of give her a physical standing presence in the space and then she's also got a um, 
underwire shape. Um, again, suggesting the sort of booby support at the back of the painting of the more bodily part um, that you wouldn't normally see. This painting behind me is the biggest painting in the show and it's based on one of de Kooning's works on paper that was in the show where he showed these other women paintings. And the original title was just two women, again, just like, you know, no real sense of who those women might be. Um, but also what's quite, quite distinctive to me um, are the cut up bodies and the fact that they don't have heads. So my title is two women and then in brackets off with their heads. Um, same logic as the others, I just sort of built it up using these patterns that were already in the pattern library appropriate to this sort of um, entire project. Um, but yeah, it's quite a physically overwhelming um, painting and the women in the painting are quite physically overwhelming and were during the painting process as well. Because of its scale and because it was quite physically demanding to kind of render all the pattern at that level was just a long and very involved project. You were sort of standing on scaffolding as we paint it and it becomes this quite strange process as the women take shape too. It's like our bodies and what's at stake when we paint in a very physical way. So things, stupid things that like RSI, very glamorous artist things. Um, and, but we're meeting these sort of representations of these abstract women that de Kooning, you know, couldn't name. So the other part of this where I feel like I've been self-consciously sort of undermining this idea of the artist's authentic gesture is in producing copies of everything. So version upon version upon version, repetitions of um, images again and again in watercolour and different kind of media. Um, and these are cyanotypes, so a photographic process where I photograph the paintings, I made a transparency and then they're exposed um, to chemically coated paper um, in natural sunlight. So they just become like another a copy of de Kooning's Woman, another extension, another version. Um, it's still kind of got this sort of painterly process because you have to coat the paper with a brush, but it's just gotten to this point where it's like such a repetition, it's such a, um, such a kind of distance from the original woman painting, um, and I liked that play with these. So um, they are also woman one to six, like the single um, image paintings in the show, but now suddenly they've become photographic copies. So this is definitely the more abstract or abstracted part of the exhibition, um, but it's still part of the same project because it was about transposing this idea of the gesture because you know, one of the things that we really love about de Kooning's work is how gestural it is and how you kind of see the artist and the artist's emotions in the paint. So I, I, um, I wanted to refer to that, but to do it in a fairly cheeky way. So these are all gestures that were made in Photoshop. I import the same patterns that I was using for the de Kooning project at large. So they're sort of squiggles. Um, and then I also wanted it to be the point where the body that is present in the de Kooning's and at the back of the paintings that I just showed um, went a little bit bonkers. So it's like the gestures have come to life in the form of these weird sausage forms, some of which have fingers or um, dicks at the end of them. Um, they're squishy and they're kind of coming out from the wall. Um, but it's sort of like they have, um, they've been born of that de Kooning work. Um, they've come from those paintings and they've sort of come to life.